Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today there is a new tool available for anybody using Ubuntu or Ubuntu derivatives who would like to install deb packages. This is by Martin Wimpress and it is called debget. As you might imagine, it's very much like apt-get, except what it's going to do is utilizing effectively the same commands as you find in apt, it's going to allow you to search through a variety of different uh, repositories for .deb files. This allows you to, on Ubuntu, install Chromium, for example, without using the Snap package. Brave Browser is available there, and a whole host of other software in the event you do not want to use Snaps or Flatpaks, you want to install Debs, you can actually go ahead and use this tool. Let's go ahead and start by having a look over at the website, which is over on GitHub, and this is uh, um, Wimpsy's World, uh, which is Martin Wimpress's uh, GitHub. And uh, you can get the information over here and the installation instructions. So apt-get is a functionality for uh, .debs published in third-party repositories or via direct download. There's a little bit more here than I have in the basic use video, uh, but uh, this is to introduce you to it and give you the ability to get it, you know, start with it and then go ahead and uh, start learning a little bit more about it. So uh, you can download the .deb file and just install it, or he gives you a uh, install line here, just a simple line. Note, uh, Ubuntu does not have curl installed, so we're going to have to install curl first if you're using the command here. Uh, depending on your distribution, you may or may not have curl installed. Um, I would say many of them probably don't unless it's a server base. Uh, but go ahead and install curl, uh, sudo apt install curl, and then you can go ahead and just copy this line, paste that in, and then it's going to uh, install. So the default there will have a list of software, which is down at the bottom here. So you can install the software just like you can uh, do things with apt. So apt install, apt update, apt upgrade, apt remove, apt uh Purge. Those are the apps, of course. This is deb get install, deb get update, deb get upgrade, deb get remove, deb get purge. As of right now, there's a lot of software. Some of it is, is software that you're familiar with. We have things like Discord, 1Password. We also have Brave, Bitwarden, uh, Beersmith. Not sure what that is. Uh, and there's, um, there's Keypass XC. Um, there is, let's see what else we have. We have Zoom down there, Team Viewer, uh, Raspberry Pi Imager, which is a nice one. And we also have, uh, if anybody wants to use Edge, Microsoft Edge is in here as well. NextCloud Desktop is in here. There's basically a lot of different um, different packages already available. And his description here does say you can use direct downloads as well. Uh, so in theory, it would be possible to add extra repositories into this. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, uh, not do that on this particular video here. But now we're going to head on over to Ubuntu and have a look at uh, what this actually looks like in practice. And then we'll come back and wrap up. Right, so we're going to start by loading up Firefox here, and we're going to head on over to the GitHub page and grab the information that we will need. Of course, here is the page again. Here's debget. We have introduction. We have the basic usage. We're going to want to grab this install script, but note again, curl is not installed on Ubuntu. We're going to boot up a terminal. I'm going to do this quickly by doing Control-Alt-T which should bring up a terminal in any Ubuntu-based distribution. You can, of course, find it in the menu. We're going to do sudo apt install curl to get curl installed, and then paste in this script. And then this is just going to download the deb file and install it. Once this is done, uh, and what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and test it out here. You might want to reboot. You might not. So you can see here, just type in the debget dash list and you can actually see all of the things deb dash get space list my apologies so here you can see all the different software that we have available 
And um, these variety of software is just going to allow you to grab anything that's available as a deb file. Some of these may or may not be in your repositories. Some of them are available as snaps already. Some of them are uh, available as um, in your Ubuntu repository, depending on your individual um, uh, distribution. I know Linux Mint, for example, has Chromium available without using the Snap package, but this will allow you to install it. So here we'll go ahead and install. Uh, we'll just go ahead and install Zoom. And I tried also installing the Brave browser at the same time. For some reason, I'm not sure if this is an error of the script or whatever else, but it actually did not install the Brave browser and... Um, and Zoom. It just installed Zoom. So uh, I'm not sure if there was just a server error or whatever reason it did not do Brave Browser as well. I don't know if maybe you can only do one package at a time. Uh, but just for reference, I went ahead and uh, installed this guy. And then uh, what we're going to do from here is uh, double check that everything is on. So the download of the zoom.deb file is complete. It's going ahead and doing the installation. And you're going to see here it's get to the, going to get to the bottom of Zoom. It's going to finish that. And then it's going to say it's done. And so this made me question whether Brave Browser was installed or not. So just keep in mind that uh, it seems to not be installing everything. So it says it's done. Didn't even seem to try and install Brave Browser. I'm not sure if you can only do one thing at a time. Let's go ahead and exit out of the terminal. Let's double check. There's Zoom, so that's available. We will notice here Brave is not there. Let's go ahead and search for it. Eh, not there. So let's go ahead and boot the terminal back up. And let's just go ahead and just do the Brave Browser. So this is a, a point. I'm not sure if it's a bug or... Uh, you can only do one at a time, but apparently I could only install the first package in the list. Um, didn't have a problem installing Brave otherwise, so we'll go ahead and show you that uh, once, uh, once I reran re the script just to do Brave, it installed that as well. So we're going to exit out of that. Go ahead and uh, check our software list, and there's Brave. So now that installed Brave as well. Of course, I did want to double check. Does this happen to interface with the Ubuntu software store? I guess this is the Snap software store. And uh, as I guessed, it did not. So went ahead and pulled this guy up here. And um, just having a brief look. Yeah, there's some updates the system wants, whatever. Let's go ahead and double check for some things. Let's look for Zoom, for example. Uh, Zoom is, I believe, available as a Snap package. Let's double check. So it looks like it may not even be available as a snap package. I thought it probably was. Uh, so you'll see that even though we have Zoom installed via Deb, it does not even show up in this list apparently. Let's go ahead and look for Chromium. Of course, there is a uh, Chromium browser, but this is the snap version. You see there's no other reference to a Deb version here as well, indicating that once again, yeah, Chromium is not uh, going to be appearing here. So things inside the Deb Get repository are not going to interface with the, your GUI software manager, at least at this point in time. Here's Brave Browser. Yeah, that's available as a snap as well. Again, no reference to repositories or Deb files. So yeah, you can install some of this stuff, uh, but you just can't do it through the GUI right now. But hey, that's okay. So there we have it, a very good, very easy way to install .deb packages on Ubuntu or any derivative like Linux Mint, as long as you're not using the Linux Mint Debian edition. And uh, this is actually going to be an excellent tool to maybe combat the people who don't want to use snaps, like, well, there's Debs available, I can just go manually download things. Well, now we have a command line based tool. This is an awesome little script, and uh, thank you for uh, to Martin for pushing this out. But go ahead and uh, have a look at it and play around with it yourself and uh, ask questions and uh, send a little bit of love his way. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.